Hello everybody, um, here to show you how to create a 3D model of a concrete canoe or um, and eventually turn into a mold. So as a background, this is uh, videos from the University of Toronto concrete canoe team. And while our the Canadian competition is, it's a somewhat different, like, 99% um, of the rules, including the hall design, is the same. And every year we have like a bunch of Canadian schools go down to the American ones. So um, if you're not from within our team, this video will definitely still apply. Um, and hall design, I think, I don't think there's been a rule change in over a long time. And there probably won't ever be a rule change regarding hall design. So, but... I'll still like tell you um, where I'm using the 2018 to 2019 version of the uh, ASC or CSC rules. Um, doesn't matter. They're the same. And um, yeah, so I'm going to be primarily using uh, SOLIDWORKS as a background. I'm, uh, my name is uh, Rick and uh, I've been a former captain of Concrete Canoe and been a former uh, concrete lead. And this year is I'm decided to step back and become a hall design lead. But uh, I have a lot of experience in this. So and it's just cut learning um, over the years through doing various concrete canoe tasks. Uh, definitely not trained in this in school. I'm a civil engineer, not a, I guess, mechanical engineer. but. Uh, we have a lot of like documents within our team that tells us how to do stuff. So, um, so this will be, probably be different for, than other teams. But for the Toronto team, we get our uh, design. Uh, we made our own program like a long time ago, and this is what it spits out. So, just different coordinates of like the canoe and cross section. Um, it's called a surface file, and it's totally compatible with free ship or a ship. So. To import it, find our file, um, default settings, and boom, we got our uh, surface into free ship. So, um, same thing for if you were using Delft ship, but it's a, the only thing we use free ship or Delft ship for is to um, export it as an IGS file, which is a generic uh, 3D CAD file. So, um, and then you can use this with like any 3D software like uh, SOLIDWORKS or uh, Inventor, Inventor or uh, Civil 3D or et cetera, or Cadia. Um, not sure if I'm saying that right. But um, I already loaded it up in SOLIDWORKS. Um, I'm using SOLIDWORKS 2018. Your version of SOLIDWORKS might be different, but it's like the same process, um, just going to make it easier to see. So this is exactly like uh, one half of the canoe. It's just going to be easier to work with just half the canoe for now. So we have our five and a half meter long canoe and the first thing we're going to do is thicken it. So insert boss base and thicken. Uh, we want to make sure it's selected to side two so that means it will thicken the uh, I believe it will be thickening the inside of the canoe uh, and this will be important for later on we, so I'm going to choose to uh, thicken it by 12.5 millimeters so half an inch and that's I tell you a lot of teams use half inch thickness this is, might be a bit thicker than that um, click OK, and we have uh, a thickened canoe. Not sure why this changed on me, but whatever. Um, just go back to the go to the checkerboard pattern. Um, <laughs> okay, you only did one side too. Uh, so we're going to. Next, create our gunnels. Um, 
So a lot of teams, concrete canoe teams, they use gunnels to reinforce the canoe longitudinally or ribs to reinforce the canoe transversely. So uh, our team, we just generally only use gunnels, but uh, a lot of teams use ribs as well. And these, this is the same method that we apply to create any like 3D elements like um, that you may want. So we're going to create what's called a um, reference plane where our gunnel, we want a gunnel to be. So it's going to be, we made it, um, we select the front plane so that's per parallel to the bottom of the canoe. And we're going to add the gunnel five centimeters or 50 millimeters or two inches from the top of the canoe. Uh, make sure you want the side, make sure it's the correct side. So like uh, you don't want it like five centimeters above the canoe, we want it like down from the top. Click OK. Then we gotta use our reference plane to create a line. So we're going to insert curve split line. And we want to make sure we select our body. So for some reason, this body didn't get fully. Um, it, SolidWorks is weird. It split the body in half, but uh, we wanna make sure we select everything. Uh, make sure it's on intersection. And we got our um, line. So now we have to go to insert surface offset. Make sure we select both um, of it. And like your model might differ. Like maybe like normally it's not supposed to create this separate section, but for uh, this model it did. Um, and then we want whatever thickness our um, gunnel will be. So I'm going to put it 10 millimeters, one centimeter. Um, it can be thicker or thinner depending on how much reinforcement you need or like how much uh, consideration you'll have in ergonomics. Click OK. So it's created a surface that's not a body. So it's similar to what we first imported into SOLIDWORKS. So it's, it's just a basically a like a piece of paper almost. We need it to make sure it's actually like a 3D component. So we're going to go insert um, boss space thicken. We're going to select our surface and then we're going to enter 10 millimeters. So this is like the exact same as uh, what we used to offset the surface by. So make sure click check merge result, make sure it's the same side that we uh, thicken towards. So like, we don't want this side. This means it'll thicken away from the canoe. We want it like touching the canoe. So click OK. And now we have our gunnel. So if we want ribs, same thing. We just create a plane like fall, like transversely. Um, you can even like do diagonal 3D elements if you want. Like, I don't know what purpose that will help have, but like you can do it. Um, so now we're going to, before we mirror the uh, half into a full canoe, we need to cut some of the excess material off because see this corner. So when this corner, when we mirror it, it's going to conf conflict with the other side. So, uh, and then SOLIDWORKS won't like that and it'll give you all sorts of errors. So what we're going to do is create another reference plane. So we want to click this point. We're going to use points to define our plane now, not um, not the not another plane. We're going to click this point. So the like, um, to define our like depth, and then we're going to click this point, which is directly. Uh, a straight line from the other side. So there's our plane. Click OK. And then to do the actual cutting, we're going to insert cut, extrude cut. And SOLIDWORKS will immediately launch you into like the sketch mode because um, it needs to know like what area to cut. So like if you only want to like do a partial cut, like this is how you do it. And then you can draw uh, whatever like design you want to cut into the canoe mold. Um, 
but that's like a more advanced feature. So we're just going to draw a rectangle encompassing the entire canoe. Uh, make sure that we draw it on the correct plane. So I already pre-selected that plane um, that divides the canoe in half. Click OK and then exit sketch. And then it'll go into the cut mode. So we don't want to do this. So this means it'll basically cut every the entire canoe. What we want to do is just cut the excess material off and leave the um, canoe intact. So do click OK. And then now when you look at the bow or stern, like it's uh, there's no like corners that will cause potential conflicts. It's perfectly like I guess flat against the plane. So now we can actually mirror. So we go insert mirror. Um, make sure we go bodies to mirror and select our body and as for our mirroring plane so we're going to use the plane we just used to cut the um, cut the uh, excess material off um, and then we're going to Okay, uh, I think I selected the wrong plane. Uh, plane five, there it is. You can see the yellow line where it's projecting the edge to be, um, default sections, and it should be okay. So um, again, like <laughs> it's not really rendering our checkerboard properly, but that's okay. That's just a visual feature. Like it's just help me just helps me gauge the surface a bit better. Um, so there's our canoe. So like if all that if you want is like a 3D model canoe for your construction drawing or an isometric um, view, if you already like have all your cross sections planned out, um, this is basically it.